All right, so next uh, we'll be looking at the video recording feature uh, of the stalker, which is currently in a beta phase, but yes, you can give it a try. So they have provided uh, the Docker Compose uh, file over here. What do you need to do? Just copy this file and create a YAML file. So I've already done it uh, for the video. This is, this is the file. Right. And uh, like you can see, if you go down, this is the location uh, where the videos will be stored. So if you give the root location, is it's basically uh, wherever you kept this file, there will be a folder that will be auto generated and the videos will be stored in that location only, right? Although the feature is currently in beta phase, but it's working absolutely fine at my end. What you need to do, just you need to spin up the Docker uh, by adding this command. And initially it is going to take some time to load, download all the images. I already did that. So on my machine, it is not going to take uh, that much time. So let's uh, wait for a few seconds so that it should spin up the Docker. See, starting Selenium Hub. And then you're going to see desktop, Firefox video, a lot of these things. Uh, so all, all of these are spinned up. Let's see. Don't uh, worry about the logs that are showing over here. Just go to your grid and you should be able to see uh, these three nodes over here, right? And now let us try to run our same test uh, where we are running uh, Firefox and Chrome in parallel. So I'll just right click, run as test ng suit. And once the tests are shown in the session, you can see, just wait for a few more seconds. They are queued up. And you can see a video showing up over here. And the password is S-E-C-R-E-T, secret. And once you log in, this is like a VNC where you should be able to see it has launched Chrome and performed the action. And you can close it. And same thing, you can do it for Firefox. So I guess the session is already done. Okay, S E C R E T C secret. Okay, the session is already done, so we were not able to see that. So anyways, even if we are not able to see this, so what you will be getting is once you go to your uh, folder where you have kept that YAML file, you're gonna see Docker video folder generated. If you open it, you can see three videos, but these are not processed yet. If you try to open this up, you're gonna uh, get some uh, corrupt error like this. It's not supported, right? Because the video is not yet generated, uh, they're only gonna get generated once you close these Docker services. Once you do Control C and stop all these services, And then now you can see the videos over here. So we're not able to see the Firefox. Let's click on the Firefox one and see what's happening. Let me take it over here. Let's wait for a few seconds. And see a Firefox browser launches. And it navigates. Google.com. Hello, great Firefox. See, everything is working absolutely fine. And this is the record of our test execution, right? And if you open it up for Chrome, then you're going to see somewhere that the Chrome is getting launched. And the same execution will be done on Chrome, right? And now there's additional edge, uh, but we have not executed anything on edge, so you're not going to see anything on the edge side, right? But yes, uh, this is one of the awesome feature, I mean, where you can see the recording as well available.
uh, while executing the test as well you'll be able to see the recording within the session uh, so the vnc viewer is embedded in your session itself you just need to add the password secret and then you should be able to see the test execution although it's a very small test but once you are working on uh, uh, like the end-to-end -end test you're automating a complete website and executing it on grid then uh, you should be able to see how the execution is going on and at the end you're going to get the complete video recording of your test execution right so that's what the feature but currently yes it's in uh, a beta phase maybe they're doing some more enhancement in uh, the video recording feature and you're going to see a lot of uh, improvement in this feature in uh, coming uh, weeks all right so that's all in this lecture thank you